Good morning. Welcome back. We're following through verse by verse in 1 Samuel. Today we're in chapter 22, verses 6 to 10, and this is a pretty grim section, so hold on to your hat. Here we go. When Saul heard that David and the men who were with him had been discovered, now Saul was staying in Gibeah under a tamarisk tree in Ramah with the spear in his hand and all the servants standing about him. Then Saul said to his servants who stood about him, Hear now, you Benjamites. Will the son of Jesse give every one of you fields and vineyards and make you all captains of thousands and captains of hundreds? All of you have conspired against me, and there is no one who reveals to me that my son has made a covenant with the son of Jesse, and there is not one of you who is sorry for me or reveals to me that my son has stirred up my servant against me to lie in wait as it is this day. Then answered Doeg the Edomite, who was set over the servants of Saul, and said, I saw the son of Jesse going to Nob to Ahimelech, the son of Ahitu. And he inquired of the Lord for him, and gave him provisions, and gave him the sword of Goliath, the Philistine. Well, the first part here, look, you can see that Saul is unwell. He's mentally unwell. Nobody cares about me. He's sitting there moaning and complaining and, and saying, nobody tells me my son is in league with, uh, with David. Well, he's not exactly in league with him, but obviously somebody told him because uh, uh, he knows. You know, many things come to a leader, a king, uh, somebody who's a president or somebody like that. So Saul actually does know, but he's feeling all alone, and he's he's just kind of venting here and sharing his rage around the group. And at the height of his rage and his his dismay and his self-pity, suddenly there's Doeg the Edomite, and he has a report. Oh, I saw the son of Jesse, and he was talking to the priest, and, and uh, the priest did this for him, this for him, this for him, this for him, and this for him. And so um, Doeg, who's not a, not a Hebrew, not an Israelite, uh, tells him uh, about, apparently feeds his paranoia about this, this big plot between David and the priests. Well, you and I both know, we were there yesterday morning, right? Or the morning before. There is no plot between David and the priests. David came and told the priest a story, and uh, he was the one that got the sword from Goliath. Nobody else got the sword from Goliath, right? Anyway, David leaves with the sword of Goliath. But now this uh, this is uh, going to turn out really badly tomorrow morning. But we'll wait for that. But when you've got a leader who's mentally unwell, and Saul is clearly mentally unwell, you've got to be careful. Watch watch out. The people around him are going to feed him the, the worst information or the most skewed information at just the wrong time. So, again, we want God to be our leader. We want to be very careful about human leaders. And uh, David is, has gotten out of this situation, thank goodness, but here are a bunch of people who are still around Saul serving him, and there's going to be a terrible, terrible, terrible event that comes out of this. So what can we say? Uh, be careful about leaders who are, are, are spiritually unwell and mentally unwell. Uh, be very careful there, and let's let God be our leader, let God be our counselor. So here's the thing. If we have uh, a lot of need for help, Let's go and take it to God. Let's let God take it from us. God can forgive us. God can heal us. God can help us to think right. Uh, we find in Psalm 119, for example, many counsels to us about God's word is the way to heal our mind. Saul's not partaking of any of that right now. Saul is kind of off in his own corner, you know, crying his own tears into his own belly button. But what we want to do is let God be our counselor, trust in him, let him heal us, let him forgive us, and let him help us to come up higher. Saul's not doing any of that. Saul is just uh, moping. He's just kind of, uh, and this is going to get worse before it gets better. So watch out and let God be your counselor. And things are going to go a lot better. But be careful about human leaders, people who are going to think they have more power than they do think that they have more power than they legitimately have, because many times they will exercise that power for evil, as we'll see, sadly, tomorrow morning. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, Lord, may we take all of our concerns, all of our cares to you. Thank you for hearing our prayers, Lord. Thank you for being our counselor, and help us to come to you with our needs, our spiritual desires, and grow us, Lord. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May God be your helper. May God be your, uh, your listener. May he be your comforter and strengthener.